Welcome back to Learning the Tamil Alphabet, presented to you by LearnTamil.com. We're going to be starting on a new lesson. Uh, this is lesson two, and part A of this lesson will uh, teach you the letter ik. And this consonant ik is um, basically the K sound in the English language. So the, um, the words cook, black, thick, they all end in the K sound, and that's represented by this particular letter. And here's how we write it. We start at the uh, top with straight lines, and then starting in the middle of that top line, we come down. So let's try it again. So this is a letter you probably want to pause the video and practice writing several times to get the hang of it. And I forgot to put the dot on the top of this letter for all of these. So try that and then uh, resume the video. All right, moving right along. Now, as we learned with several of the consonants in previous lesson, if you remove the dot, uh, there are different ways that the letter is pronounced depending on where it occurs in the word. So if we remove the dot, and this letter begins the word, then it makes the k sound, as in the words color or country. If the letter is in the middle of a word uh, directly following a vowel sound, then it makes the h sound. The closest I could think of for an English word is um, the expression aha. Uh, so if we were to write this, we would we would end up using the ka sound for the eight, the ha the ha um, in that word. We'll see a couple of examples coming up though. Next, if the letter ka follows the ik, then it's ikka ka, and just like in the previous uh, lessons, we have to stress this first K sound. So I'm going to say these English words in a slightly artificial way to stress that K sound, that first K sound. Buckle, buckle. And the word is buckle, but I'm just pronouncing it as if we were to write it using these thumber letters, the ka. Buckle. And the word packet will be said packet, packet. So ikka. All right, so here's a quick summary of these letters that we've just learned. Ik by itself is the K sound. Ka, when it begins a word, has the ka sound. Ikka is ikka. And then the ka letter, when it's in the middle of a word, after the vowel sound, has the ha sound. So let's practice saying these words. All right, here's the first word, and we'll use the transliteration again. All right, so the first letter is ka begins it begins the word so it's going to be the ka sound but because we have this uh, kal or arabu symbol immediately following it we know that from the previous lesson we know that that's actually the long ka sound so the first letter ka the next letter is the ka letter in the middle of a word directly following a vowel sound, so it's going to have the ha sound. And the last letter we know is im, so we will pronounce this word as ka ha im, ka ham, ka ham, ka ham, uh, which is the word for the, for the bird crow. All right, next word. First letter, Ka begins a word, so it's the ka sound. Next letter, ik. It's the k sound, and directly following it is the ka sound, so it's this combination, ka. And the last letter, im. So the word is ka kam. Ka kam. The word is ka kam which means armpit, 
Kakkam. All right, next. First letter is Ka. Next letter, we know from the previous uh, lesson one that this is going to be either the Ta or the Da sound. And because it's in the middle of a word, it's going to be the Da sound. Next, Ka, middle of a word, uh, directly following a vowel sound, so that the A uh in the Da is going to be a vowel sound. So this is going to have the Ha sound, this third letter here. And the last letter is M. So what do we get? Ka, Da, Ha, M. Ka, Da, Ha, M. Ka, Da, Ham. Ka, Da, Ham. All right, now I'm going to say a couple of words and we'll have you write them. The first word, Arakkam. Arakkam. All right, so we'll do like we did in some of the previous lessons and we'll start by writing a transliteration. Arakkam. All right, first letter, A. Arakkam. Next is the Da sound, Arakkam. Adakkam, adakkam. So I heard the ik, adakkam. And then immediately following that was the ka, adakkam, and then im. Alright, so we know the first letter. A. Next is da. Next is ik, ka. Last letter is M. Another word. Paham. Paham. All right, so the first letter. Paham. Pa. If I were to stop here, this would just be pa. We want pa long. Paham. All right, so I heard an H sound, so it's going to be this ka in the middle of a word after a vowel sound. So we're going to put for that letter pa hum and an M. So the first letter pa, pa, and then we add the ka or the aravu to make it pa, ha. It's going to be ka in the middle of a word after the vowel sound and then M at the end. Pa hum, which means part. All right, and one more word. Kabadam. Kabadam. All right, so ka at the beginning of a word is what I'm hearing, so kabadam. Then I hear the B sound, kabadam. Kaba, kabadam. I hear the da sound, and then m, kabadam, kabadam. All right, so ka we know is going to be the first letter. Ba, we know that uh, in the middle of a word, the the pa letter has the ba sound when f following a vowel sound. Kaba, kabadam. Da, this is going to be the ta da letter, middle of a word. Kabadam, and then im. Okay. All right, one last word, akam, akam. Okay, transliteration, akam. So what we're hearing here is long a, akam. And we're hearing the ik sound, akam. Ka, and then im at the end. So this is the a, ikka, and then M at the end.